Greetings. Today we are going to talk about five tips that will help you learn how to work with demonic evocation. And this video is in regards to summoning demons with ceremonial magic. And I have been working with the systems of magic for over a decade and I have a lot of experimentation. So I really want to help you learn not only how to summon these incredibly powerful and wonderful spirits, but also to help you learn how to evoke them to physical form. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Orly. I'm a consecrated bishop and I specialize in working with demons the chthonic spirits and sublunar spirits. So welcome to my channel. My first tip for demonic evocation is to learn some kind of magical formulae that has been tested throughout time where you can see and it has been proven to have successful results. My personal favorite is the Lamegaton, the Lesser Key of Solomon, the Ars Goetia. This is the book that I learned how to summon demons from along with having personal teachers in the art of Goetic evocation that help me on a personal level. And I also have just re-released my Ars Goetia video course on my website. So if you are looking for someone to take you step by step through this grimoire to explain and show you how to do that, that is now on my site as a resource for you and you can check that out in the link below. There's lots of versions of the Ars Goetia and the formula is really valuable because it teaches you the art of how to summon spirits and how to structure a ritual. One of the most important things is when you're working with ceremonial magic, you're going to want to have some kind of formula that you can keep track of to see what works and what doesn't work and then adapt your system over time. And the benefit of having these grimoires is we know that they work really well. So it's a great way for you to start learning how to summon these spirits is by following the instructions in a book like the Goetia or other books like the uh, True Grimoire, the Grimoirium Verum. My second tip is to develop other magical assets. And so what I mean by this is it's one thing to follow some instructions or to replicate what you have been learning. Another aspect is putting it into practice over time and allowing these skills to develop in multiple ways. So when we're summoning a demon or a spirit in general, it requires a multitude of different magical and psychic abilities, which is often why you can benefit from working with a companion who might have better psychic abilities or scrying abilities than you if you're struggling in making contact with spirits you're always able to collaborate in that kind of way where one person serves as the conjurer in the ritual reciting the vocations and then another person can focus all their energy on scrying the demon because which is when you are in communion with the spirit and communicating back and forth because that also takes a tremendous amount of energy and that's why it can be really nice to do the rituals with someone that you really trust and in general the more you develop your own magical abilities in different kinds of rituals in meditation visualization in astral magic understanding the elements of nature in basically every single aspect and facet that magic and spirituality covers the more things that you can develop in your own self in other areas, it will also strengthen your skills in summoning spirits because you will be very powerful by having developed yourself in whatever ways are the most welcome on your personal path. The third tip is being patient and realizing that is a big aspect of magic because with spirits, they're not going to just instantly change reality. They work through cause and effect. So you can really help to walk hand in hand with the spirit into the reality that you're manifesting. And this is through having results in your magic and results in actually making contact with the spirit by being patient with making contact as well as being patient in the results that you receive. 
waiting for them to happen, knowing that the spirits are going to make it happen in the perfect way and the perfect time. We don't always know the sequence of events specifically that are going to happen to make what we asked for to manifest. You'll also need to be patient in the process that you go about evoking them because you also want to be as respectful as possible and also patient with your own self because it is quite difficult to transition from living in our ordinary Western reality here, like in America, where the spirits aren't necessarily part of day-to-day -day life. Like, I mean, I'm lucky because I live in New Orleans, but in most places here, it is not part of ordinary reality and people don't believe in that. So you really have to work on being patient with yourself to allow yourself to adjust and acclimate to spiritual reality. And this is something that is done through having practice in rituals. And so this is doing different rituals, not just summoning demons. The patience aspect comes in so much because typically, and years ago before we had the revolution of occult information on the internet, you would need to be part of some sort of tradition where they would teach you these things. And this is something that would be handed down over time and over experience. So allow yourself to be patient with yourself when you are working on magic, and especially if you're trying to summon the demons in physical form and you really, really want to see it and you're really struggling with that, be patient. Know that you need to keep developing your psychic abilities. Tip number four is magic as an art form. And this is when you go to perform your rituals, be it through ceremonial magic, as I'm discussing in this video, or even if you're taking a more hoodoo approach um, or folk witchcraft approach of working with these spirits. The idea is the intent and the art behind what you're doing. And so this is what you have inside your heart when you're doing the right, how much of your own creative energy you bring to the table. And that doesn't mean like how much new things you bring into it. It means your creative energy, like you're showing up to do this thing and you're putting your self into it. You're really giving it your all. You don't approach it in a way that is lazy, for example, because if you do take a very passive approach to it, you're not going to have control over the situation. You're going to lose control over the situation. So it is something where just like you're going to show up to give a gift to someone that you truly care about, that's how you can approach meeting with these spirits where we are interacting with someone that we respect and we are here to not only work with, but learn from in tandem. And this is what takes us to my final tip, which is we are ambassadors to these entities and that spiritual power is sacred. And this is something that will really help you to gain mastery over your demonic evocation is once you have begun making contact and you have spells that are manifesting and working, think really carefully about what you're doing with this power. Are you using this to make things better or is the power corrupting you? And that's something that can be extremely dangerous, especially because magic changes reality so much. And so it's very important to learn about other aspects of yourself and to be continually growing and evolving as a person. As you go through these arts, these spirits will help us. And when we are evolving, we are constantly learning and we constantly have new teachers as well in them. So it's really a fantastic experience once you are able to go beyond the threshold of fear and realize that these spirits, like the spirits of the Goetia, are fantastic. And there's so much for us to learn from them. They have completely changed my life. And I'm so grateful to all the spirits that have helped me. And as I mentioned earlier, my Ars Goetia video course is also up now on my website. I have re-edited it and remastered the audio. And you can see the description of all the five parts. 
when you go to my site, motherofabominations.com. I really am excited of all the people who already have benefited from this course and who have learned how to summon demons through it and through watching this channel as well. And it's so important to me to share this information because we are ambassadors to these spirits and we are working together with them to help make this world a much more magical place. And so thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And you can check out all my links below and I'll see you again next time.